hi guys welcome to my channel anchored advice this is gonna be a libra reading for august 22nd and 23rd uh 2021 and of course there's a whole bunch of people out there this is not gonna be every single person's story take what's yours leave the rest alone also feel free to swap around the energy i could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with and um we do have that uh aquarius full moon that is on the 22nd today so um you know you guys should be seeing that and that's really good for like setting intentions toward the life that you're wanting the person that you're wanting to be and um, the lifestyle that you're wanting to live you know have and so on and so forth but okay so libra you versus them for august 22nd and 23rd 2021 libra one more shuffle libra you versus them august 22nd and 23rd 2021 libra so bottom of the deck it says healing family issues you could be either one you know repairing the relationship with your family or two it's like healing uh you know childhood wounds traumas that you may have developed over the years growing up um so it's like being neglected uh being abused in any way shape or form um you know not getting the proper nurturing as a kid you know all that you know it tends to have a psychological effect on you uh, in the long term growing up and uh, it affects you with grow building the proper relationships, which includes friendships, you know, your support group and stuff like that. So you could be balancing out those dynamics uh, with healing family issues and with let go of control groups, um, let go of control issues. This is you or the person that you're dealing with that kind of needs to learn how to go with the flow. It can't always be your way. You know, we can't control people. You know, we just can't. All we can control is how we react to people. And that's it. Um here it says flirt so extend your lighthearted energy to others so if it's like you know the person that you're if this is like a relationship you know marriage you know someone that you have kids with maybe because of the whole family issues thing at the bottom of the deck you know um if it's getting too serious then you know maybe flirt uh have some fun go bowling to a park you know uh tickle or something you know what i mean free yourself though okay because with this unicorn stuck in a cage i feel like you know your creativity is kind of being blocked off because i feel like you know um libras they tend to get stuck between making a decision so you might be kind of like wanting to do things but instead i feel like you're kind of just there thinking about it not really acting on it and so with this free yourself i feel like um it's time to take back control of your life you know don't be afraid to go after the person or the things that you're wanting that you're wanting period you know because all we have is time but oftentimes we miss opportunities if we don't make opportunities for ourselves yeah uh, yeah with this attraction here in the center this could be like um you could be using the law of attraction using manifestation to bring things to you or to bring this person to you this could be a new person or a past person with the getting to know each other but I feel like as you guys open up um, and you share, you know, your history, the things that you've been in in your life and you reveal your inner self, your bond tends to deepen. I mean, that's what it says there at the bottom, right? Um, here on the bottom of the deck, it says new love. So for some of you guys, this could be like a new friendship, new person uh, that you guys could be getting to know um, that maybe you reached out to or a new person is trying to get to know you. And, you know, right now it's like um, someone could be kind of wearing a mask and it could be you where it's like, again, you're wanting to do these things, but you're not really acting on it right now. You're just thinking about it. So uh, with this very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it could come to you now. Again, I feel like you're just thinking about things. You're not acting on them. That's just what I'm feeling. OK, um, forgiving and learning at the top of the deck. So this could be, again, relationships, past people that you guys are having to kind of forgive and learn about each other learn how to love each other properly forgive each other for the past forgive each other for past hurts um or this is you having to forgive yourself and your own life you know as you get to know yourself more um and you go forward in your own life you know there could be codependency affecting your relationships you know a lot of the people that you deal with have addiction issues um or you know an addictive personality and you can get addicted to all types of things you know you can get addicted to people addicted to attention addicted to money addicted to um to shopping addicted to yes yeah, substances food uh you know there's working out you know there's all types of things you can get addicted to but i feel like you know the relationships you deal with tend to have codependency issues 
or it's just like um they're very codependent like they don't know how to be by themselves or that could be your problem right take it however it is that you can relate but libra august 22nd and 23rd 2021 um let's see what you and your person are going to be going through that was like a lot there was like a lot of like multiple messages I was getting so i was like let me try to word it simple and not all complicated but libra august 22nd and 23rd 2021 libra one more shuffle so with passion at the bottom of the deck there's a lot of attraction here this could be a strong sexual connection too but you guys do have fun together and there's a lot of chemistry this might be something that you guys already know with the sword and the rose this is clarity truth so it's like you guys kind of both already know this but um, self-indulgence right now, both of you guys could just both be worried about yourselves, whether you guys are together or separated. You guys are focusing on self-work. Um, you're doing the shadow work. And if you don't know what shadow work is, that's just like working on issues, you know, issues that you bury inside you that you don't really want to work on. This could be like money issues, ego issues, jealousy issues, control issues, anger issues. You know, take it however it is you can relate. But in the center here, I feel like both of you guys um, want more money, right? And this could be in, in terms of career, not just financial stability. But um, I feel like being that this is on the attraction card, both of you guys are attracting more money and abundance in your life. So this is not just in terms of financial stability. This is like career, uh, longevity, like just um, long-term things. And you see with this cassette here on your side on top of free yourself you see how it says outdated thinking right there i feel like you know you're just replaying either something in your head like you're thinking about you know should i do this should i should i not or it's just like you're replaying old events in your head and that's kind of like a mental illness to be like stuck in the past try to stay present um and this is also like um not just like past you know should i should i not do this or just past events but it's like um you've been doing the same thing for too long like it's just time to just do things different you know if this is like you know maybe you've had a certain job for too long or you've been um you know it's just it's time to change the type of career that you have for some of you guys with this cassette here or the type of work that you do it's just time to change that or the type of people that you hang out with you know it's just that's time to change or the way that you you spend your money or you know it's something's outdated that kind of has to go already as for and then for your person here you know they're ascending so i feel like they're kind of leveling up in their life uh not just financially but it's like um they're learning how to be more authentic be more truthful uh that way they can reveal their innermost selves to you um, that way you guys' bond can deepen. With this camera underneath passion, I feel like you guys have learned a lot from the past. So some of you guys, you know, with this mask here, it's like um, your person probably tends to wear a mask and put like their friends and or act single. And it's like they could be kind of scared of commitment. And it's like this with the Phoenix here, this is a new phase where you you might be realizing this or they're realizing this. And with the hammer here, it's like this is something that is being worked on. So noticing it honestly is the first step to healing any problem. Acknowledging the problem is the first step to taking care of any problem, okay? It's like my car, you know, if I recognize that the tire's flat, it's never gonna get fixed unless I first notice, oh, well, the tire's are getting kind of low, maybe I should fix, and then I go about the process of fixing it. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here, especially with Coffee Cup. You could be meeting up with old friends, old family, uh exes and uh with the butterfly it's gonna be new phases okay um this could be like uh you know just new phases so some of you guys could be getting in a relationship with the past person and it could be more long term this time with wedding rings or just you're meeting someone new and it's gonna be a long term type of relationship okay so let's just do some tarot and then this other deck here that i wrote stuff myself and then i'll let you guys go okay so libra August 22nd and 23rd, 2021, Libra. August 22nd and 23rd, 2021, Libra. One more shuffle, Libra. August 22nd and 23rd, 2021, Libra. So, Page of Pentacles, someone could be reaching out to you. 
or you're like thinking about someone um, that it's like this person, you know, they were a lot of fun. They had a lot of good ideas, but um, they didn't stick around long, you know, for some of you guys with that page of pentacles because the page of pentacles is often someone that has good ideas and cares about other people. And, you know, with that tower card, you could be either thinking about them, you know, where you're just, or they're thinking about you. Uh, let me get more into it. But things are changing with that strength card. You could also be dealing with the Leo. I feel like, you know, someone had these urges again, and I feel like they're taking care of them. But see, with the Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, you're just more independent. Where it's like you just, again, you're not really um, needing anyone anymore. You're more like in your own lane, in your own space with all those swords. You can also be dealing with an air sign. Uh, Aries, well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Because there's a bunch of swords here on your side. So you could have been kind of having a hard time lately, but you're getting over it. Um, you could also be getting attention from other people, but it's like... Not really people you care for. Not really people you care about. Um, you know, you can have a lot of fans for some of you guys. If you guys are like, you know, uh, influencers or something like that. Or just, you just get a lot of attention, right? You just be attractive. <laughs> you know, take however it is you can relate to it. But um, I feel like you're moving forward in your life. You know, you're thinking about these things. But thinking about them is you kind of have to feel it to heal it you know because a lot of people they're not healed they're distracted and you know you, you can't be calling your friends to distract you you can't go drinking you know or something like that to distract you the only way to get over something is to actually sit there and think about it and, and cope like sit there cry it out scream it out i don't know punch the air or something you know just actually sit there feel it and then heal it and i feel like you know that's something that you've been doing you've been getting over something you've been and I just feel like you're getting your mojo back Libra I feel like you're kind of getting your mojo back you know this could have been kind of like a depressing uh time for you a lot of anxiety a lot of stress for you and I feel like things are just starting to get better for you you're, you're again getting your mojo back uh, as for your person here um you could also be dealing with the Capricorn or some sort of twin flame for some of you guys you could also be seeing a lot of 11 11 lately um, but again, there's lots of passion here. Uh, there's This could be like, you know, where maybe um, you desire a lot of people, they desire a lot of people, and or they desire to be desired, right? And that's something that needs to be worked on. Um, but nonetheless, here it's like, they could kind of tend to listen to other people, um, care about other people's opinions, their ideas, their thoughts, uh, kind of it's like they're kind of programmed still to society's norms they're wanting what other people still want um instead of like what's best for them for some of you guys it's like they're kind of uh, i want to say almost like um obsessed with you and it gives them a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress that you get a lot of attention and it's like they want to come forward with you because they can't handle like they just can't handle it. All the attention that you get, you know, they can't handle it. It gets to them. It bothers them. And so, so for some of you guys, that's why they want to come in. It's like they want to grow up um, and they want to, like, open up to you and get actually get to know you and, like, let you know, like, hey, you know, I don't want to see you with anybody else. And that's something that they have to kind of say, though. You know, you can't read their mind. I mean, if you weren't watching a tarot reading, you wouldn't actually know this, right? So... I feel like this person, you know, they're wanting to reach out, wanting. This is more energetic. Um, I feel like it's it's more of a thought than an actual doing right now, okay? Especially with this attraction. It's like um, right now it's a thought. Like they're basically thinking it into existence. Um, okay, so, yeah, see, they want to reach out and, like, be friends. It's like they're focused on working hard. They could be focused on fixing this relationship with you, and that's all they want to do. It's like they already have everything else that they want in their life. For some of you guys, it's like um, they could want to fix it, and some of you guys are just working really hard. You don't want to fix it with them. So there's some confusion here, and someone needs to get their priorities straight. 
and kind of say what they want. But someone could be blocked with the Seven of Wands, someone could be blocked, and so that's why someone could be kind of debating, you know, uh, trying to decide whether or not to just move on. And just like, you know, maybe I should just move on and just screw this and, you know, move forward with my own life. That's what some of you guys are already are already thinking. But what's the Three of Cups and the Devil card, Libra's person? Yeah, see, some of you guys, they're not happy. Um, they could be kind of obsessed with you, and you could be in a relationship with some of, with someone else for some of you guys. What's the Four of Wands? Nine of Swords. Some of you guys, it's like um, they're upset because it's more of a stability thing. Like they're they're walking away from you. Um, some of you guys, they're in a toxic, stagnant relationship, and they're in the process of leaving that. Um, the more that they work on themselves and figure out what they want in their long-term life. Um, others of you, it's wow. This this person, I'm, I'm picking up multiple people. Okay, so um, this is like really specific stories for s numerous of you guys, not just one story. Um, some of you guys here, it's like this person, again, they're becoming obsessed with this and they're upset with the stagnation that they haven't seen union yet because they've been working on themselves. And it's like, you know, it's, they're getting upset because, you know, and they're wondering, you know, should I just walk away? Is this never going to happen? And, and it's just because they haven't seen union with you yet. Um, and it's like, again, they're just, they're kind of getting overworked up about this and it's like very stuck in their head and confused. Well, let's see on your side, 10 of swords, 6 of swords, Libra, August 22nd and 23rd, 2021. And you have a lot of feelings for this person. Yes, you do. You can also be dealing with the Pisces or Virgo. Um, but I feel like, you know, you, you kind of know that you can't control it. So it's like with the star card, you still have faith. But it's like, um, you're not really worried about it. You will have to be dealing with an Aquarius. So it's like, you're just, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm just going to worry about myself right now. And, and honestly, that's all you can do. You can't control people. Like I said, all we can control is how we react. So if this person isn't like giving you anything, well, then all you can do is react and just keep doing your own thing. What's the five of swords and the six of wands, Libra? August 22nd and 23rd, 2021, Libra. Five of Swords, Six of Wands, Libra. See, it's like um, you're very stuck in your head about moving forward with this person or moving or traveling with this person. You could be thinking about traveling with this person. Um, it could also be a Cancer. And again, you need to take back control of your life. I feel like you're getting very stuck in your head. And can I get a card for free yourself and cassette? Yeah, I feel like, you know... Try not to worry too much about the future. We can't worry about it. All we can do is, is worry about the right now. You know, we can plan for the future, but we can't worry for it. And we can't get caught up in the past either. It already happened, you know? So we just need to get over it. So try to stay in the present, like I said, and just be worried for the things that um, you can control. Because uh, I feel like for some of you guys, you're very worried about the future because you care a lot about this person, King of Cups. just you care a lot about this person and can I get a card for ascending and getting to know each other and they do too uh, see with this world card here it's a new cycle getting to know each other and ascending the Empress but they have to be more loving they have to be more nurturing they have to be uh, some of you guys are dealing with like baby mama drama dealing with someone that is a mom someone that wants to be a mom um, someone could like watermelons. Uh, this girl looks like she has like watermelons all over her dress. Um, I know this past summer I was eating a lot of watermelons. But yeah, someone could like watermelons here. Um, what's the attraction, the center, and abundance for Libra? August 22nd and 23rd, 2021. So both of you guys' hearts are closed off because both of you guys, again, are trying to fix things in your own lives like abundance uh prosperity you know just longevity and you guys kind of need to fix your priorities you know because if this is like when you're in a relationship with there's only two options you guys grow together or you guys grow apart you grow together or you grow apart there's the only two options 
And so you can also be dealing with another Libra. If this is like someone that you are wanting to spend your life with, um, and they're like on this path of just wanting to make a whole bunch of money, hey, then you do the same, you know. But if this is like someone that um, wants to work with you, then go ahead and work with them. But nonetheless, don't be stuck in your head about it. Um, I feel like it's just, um, it's creating a lot of, it's just making it heavy for you. It's just making it heavy. Because there's a lot of swords on your side. So it's causing a lot of anxiety, stress, hesitation, nervousness, doubt. And it's just, uh, it's just making it very heavy. And it's making your heart heavy and closed off. Any other message for Libra before I move on to the last deck? August 22nd to the 23rd. And in the past, you guys could have been investing in lots of things. Maybe in each other. But you guys weren't sure about whether or not you wanted this. And right now, you guys could both be at this um, checkpoint. Where it's like you're having to decide, again, what it is that you're wanting to invest in. And this is also you reap what you sow. So if this is someone you put a lot of work in and vice versa, I feel like, you know, that person could be coming back around um, because it's like you guys are reminiscing about that. And it's like the mask has to come off and you guys just kind of have to talk instead of running, you know, and then that'll bring on like a whole new phase for you guys. Um, see, two of wands in the strength card. I feel like this person wants to come towards you and they are going to. They're just trying to tame these urges that they have. It could also be a Leo that you're dealing with. Uh, let me see with this deck, and then I'll let you guys go. Libra, August 22nd and 23rd, 2021, Libra. August 22nd and 23rd, 2021, Libra. August 22nd and 23rd, 2021, Libra. One last shot for you versus them. 22nd to the 23rd Libra. See, someone might still be blocked. I'm blocked. Or it's like um, their heart their um, their heart is closed off. Oh, what card was that? Uh, want to leave them for you. So some of you guys, again, they could be in another relationship. They want to leave them for you. Others of you guys, they want to leave other options for you. They don't want anyone else but you. Okay, I swore I saw a mosquito. Anyways. Um substance abuse again there could be addiction issues here uh your person could have like an addiction issue uh and, and there's addiction to all types of things okay not just a substance um and then i'm blocked here so let's take a look libra august 22nd to the 23rd 2021 libra see be mine again that is a mosquito <laughs> okay be mine again uh for the center so both of you guys still kind of want this but right now you guys could be focused on money um this card wanted to come out. This is driving me crazy. I feel like everything is one step forward, two steps back. Libra, August 22nd and 23rd, 2021. You versus them, Libra. Okay, Libra. So your person might tend to be the codependent one that has codependency issues. Um, or it's like they want you to fix all their problems. Like... Uh, still mad. So some of you guys are still mad about this. Again, still getting over things about the past. Um, it seems like you don't want me. Both of you guys feel like the other person doesn't really want you. Um, I am sorry on your side. So you're probably sorry about some things too. Sorry about yourself. Sorry about... Um, and in the past, you guys were investing in this, but there was a lot of people in the way. Friends, family, that just... And sometimes we have fake friends that aren't really um, give us the best advice. You know, they have ulterior motives and hidden agendas. So sometimes you have to be very mindful um, because, you know, with this healing family issues, you know, maybe you weren't having the best friendships around you. They were leading you astray from your path and vice versa, them too. And see, so move in together. But on this on top of the two of wands, they want to move in with you. That's the goal. Um... They're just working on their confidence here. I'm working on my confidence. Uh, move in together. I'm like, I'm not codependent, upside down. They want to come back, not um, not codependent. It's like, I feel like they've healed that about themselves. They're no longer codependent. They're no longer obsessed. They're no longer clingy. Um, silent treatment upside down. They no longer want to give you a silent treatment if you guys are not speaking. Um... 
you're on my wand upside down on top of the eight of cups so again they had urges where it's like they wanted to be wanted and or by all these people or they didn't just want you and that's something they're walking away from the eight of cups because it's upside down that they didn't just want you and that's something that they're walking away from um i miss us see they're walking away for some of you guys it's again they're walking 100 percent away from you others of you guys they weren't missing you and they're walking away from that because they are missing you now um do you still love me upside down and then they're moving away from the doubt and then you see it just says i'm waiting on you and on top of that, we have where they're just waiting for you to give them a message, a call, or some sort of reassurance. You know, they stop being having doubt. They stop wanting other people. Um, they stop wanting to miss you. They stop being in that energy. Because when you're in the energy of missing, it's like, well, then you could stay missing. You know, that's the energy you're releasing to the universe. So it's like, if it's like you're releasing to the universe that you're ready, well, then it's going to happen. So... Libra, August 22nd and 23rd, 2021, Libra. See, so it says, would you take me back on top of silent treatment and attention whore? See, they could have been an attention whore in the past. They wanted all this attention. They wanted to be wanted. And it's like, now they want to know if you would take them back. You know, and they're just afraid to tell you that. Afraid to open up. They're afraid to tell you that. Um, but they want you to trust them. I feel like you can trust them. See, I want you back. It's just... Um, yeah, right now it's just more of a thinking for both of you guys. Um, because you guys don't want to fight. So, too much time with the homies. And it could have been their friends that kept telling them, you could get better than that, blah, blah, blah. You deserve better. And then what were they doing? Keeping their options open. You know, that happens oftentimes. I see it all the time with friends. Or it's like single friends try to get their friends that are in a relationship. Like, oh, you should leave him. And it's like... So I can be single like you, like, like, you know what I mean? It's like, make it make sense. I mean, it's so funny, the advice friends give. I mean, hey, but everyone gives advice um, to the best that they can. I mean, that, just make sure it's someone that doesn't have, like, hidden agendas or ulterior motives. That way they're, that you know at least that their advice is genuine, that they mean well. You know, it's not like a manipulative thing. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. This resonates with you guys. You guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe much love thank you guys so much for watching please take care of yourselves and i'll talk to you guys later thank you bye